And welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Zoe Shivana to start our Zoe day off today. This Wednesday night, we're going to be playing a lot of Zoe. We got three different Zoe decks, but they are all different and they're, they're not going to be like similar gameplay too much. Um, so they'll be fun to try out, um, even though they all have the same champion, Zoe, um, you know, the best champion in the latest expansion. Um, the one mana, one one elusive from Targon, making all the super cool star charts. This version here, our first one today, is going to be similar to maybe some like Leona Aurelian Soul decks you've seen before, but this one with some different champions is Zoe and Shivana. Some people play this kind of deck with Zoe and Leona, or maybe Zoe and Aurelian Soul. Um, but we're going to be going Shivana because we got lots of dragons, and so we're going to have a lot of dragons. We're going to be having the dragons fight with like single combat strafing strike concerted strike that kind of stuff um, but then we're also going to have the grand plaza that's going to give these dragons that are already oversized for their mana cost give them an additional plus one plus one and then also give them challenger for the round that challenger is going to allow the dragons to um, be used as removal and dragons are going to be good uh, units to use for removal because the dragons have fury. They are furious. And so whenever they kill units, they, uh, gr they are granted the plus one plus one for the rest of the game. So that will work out pretty well too. Um, yeah, so that's, that's what we're gonna have. We're gonna have, uh, Zoe in the early game, Egghead Researcher in the early game, a whole bunch of great spells with Demacia Targon, and then all these dragons at the top end. This does allow us to have Solari Sunforger and Radiant Guardian together. So we got four total copies of those big lifesteal things. And then we can also uh, have these lifesteal units be able to challenge. We have the, with the Grand Plaza, we have the different fight spells to help them out too. Um, so that's all very useful. All right, let's get to it. Zoe Shivana will go play our five games in ranked. Okay. Hmm. So we'll just get rid of Fuse Fire Band. It's, it's not a bad card, but it's just kind of interchangeable with any of our other five mana cards. And this already looks better. So good trade for my opponent. I would have been able to get rid of their... Um, Zoe with different fight spells and stuff more easily. Uh. My faith protects me. Burn away doubt. Ooh, predictions are up. Thank you, Gucci. Somewhat worried about Pell Cascade. Force is meaningless without skill. Mm. The strength of the sun and my faith are one. Do have the confront that we can give one of these things challenger. Don't think about doing that. Like I, I don't know, give the Sunforger challenger. They of course can use two spells to give this Leeson barrier. Look lively, soldier. You look lively. Through battle! 
just not worth, like, the probability of them having a spell is just incredibly high, and it's just not really worth Speak. allowing them, Speak, I say. um, I am more than I to just block see. and then kill you something for free. Anything I've ever seen. And then, but the, that's the thing, is like, if they do have a spell, you know, like, that's, you know, probably like a Pell Cascade, something like that, like, it's, it's also a pretty high probability, like, if I go for, you know, I guess I could go for the Shivana level up, but they'd probably kill the Shivana. Huh, oh, that's what you, have? you know, Pill Cascade was just a, a likely yourself. card to have. I do not want to give them all the gems. I don't, re I don't regret what I did yet. Yeah, you said either, either way Shivana was dying, I should have leveled her up. No, I mean, I, I like that I get to keep the shield bearer with the challenger, right? Like, if we didn't draw this Grand Plaza, I have the shield bearer that can challenge the Zoe. I would not have had that if I would have put it on the Shivana. A good scene on this one. Good, we got the concussive palm out of their hand and got to kill the Zoe. Both. The dragon spirit awakens. Prepare yourself. Bastion's quite unfortunate. There we go. That's negative two. That'll do. Well, I mean, even if they could have protected... Yeah, so, like, of course, we don't know what they had. You know, like, maybe they just had, like, some units in hand. But even if they could have... Like, you'd think if they would have had units, they would have played a blocker. You would think. So you'd think they'd have spells that protect Lee, but even if they protected Lee, protecting their life total wasn't going to be easy. Um, so the fight spells are great, and Hush is great. Um, I talked about how last game Fused Firebrand is kind of interchangeable, but actually, maybe it's maybe it's pretty good because of the spell shield to make it so like they don't get to... Um, you know, it's, it's hard for them to like Hush or whatever on, on my card.
need the other two. See what happens. That seemed like a pretty good exchange. At least a fairly decent exchange. The problem is now we're drawing like these shield bearers. I don't really care about these shield bearers at all. They're kind of some some poor draws. My faith protects me. They would fall by my blade. Devotion through battle! I have no time for fools. Still have three mana. I don't think there's anything they can have to stop my strafing strike, right? I guess they could have two, if they have two spells, if they have like the one mana tough and a, um, and another plus two, plus two. Or I guess they could have that. That was pretty good for them. Strike quickly, strike deftly. Nothing to hold me back. <laughs> Yuck. That stops my plan of having something obliterate. We just keep on drawing units. I just I only need spells. Like units don't matter against Fiora and all this stuff. The only thing that matters is spells and we're just drawing all these units. I was hoping Zoe would find me the stun card, and I would be able to use the stun card to get rid of the um, spell shield. No, it looks like they got this. Or the barrier. Yeah, that that moon that moon silver really got me. Okay. Mind Splitter gives me hope. This will be quick. Dang. 
GG's. Alright, Twisted Elise. Alright, so we got a Go Hard deck. And usually these just very large units are going to be pretty decent against Go Hard. I liked my keep with all those spells. As you can see, like, all those spells were really important, but we just didn't, you know, I kept a bunch of spells, we just didn't draw anymore. We just drew all the units, and the, the units just didn't matter in that matchup. I pull the string. Channel point predictions are up. Dragon, such fascinating creatures. Possibly I should have just attacked with the shield bearer first before anything else happened. I probably should have. Interesting. They just played this Doom Beast. And I don't I don't mind if they like open attack and hit me with Elise. You know, I block the spider with this thing, like that's okay. You won't. But we got that 3-2 out of here that's going to be more annoying for some of our other dragons. Yeah, so like I, I took two damage, but it's like that, that Doom Beast could have done two damage to me anyway. Oh, Shivana. That's too bad. I want to play the Screeching Dragon. Um, these single combats, like the best use besides getting rid of, getting rid of Twisted Fate. Out of here, the best use is like stopping glimpses beyond. We play in build rules, son. They're going with those prismatics. Nothing but the stink of blood. Man, they got a lot of prismatics. I don't really like the background for the prismatics being like this. I like the border. I think the you know, like having the other border, like that's cool. The background being, a, like, very slightly animated. Never lost a fair game. Not too into that. Soak it in. Oh, I didn't, I didn't pay attention. What was the toss? Double Vengeance? <laughs> Sorry, I missed it. Double Vengeance is pretty funny. planning on putting anything else else out here because of ruination or like I'm not playing these other units keep up, keep up. so might as well spend the mana on star shaping even though I, I'm not gaining uh, let's see I only heal my nexus for two I could heal like this thing for more for four Should have waited and then healed my Nexus for four instead of the dragon. Ooh, 
we found a hush. So, the, you know, we'll just go ahead and hush. I mean, they could be playing Ledros, I guess. Like, maybe I say hush for Ledros, but we we can maybe find a, um, an obliterate card with the Living Legends. One Ledros is gone? Oh, okay. Gotcha. So yeah, so they already have a Ledros gone and two Vengeance. Challenge with the Screeching Dragon. I just kind of did that challenge and then pass turn. Yeah, our Shivana got the plus two, plus two, so it's just getting like this healing. And then we'll get the Fury, we'll just grow. If they do pack your bags this turn. I can save a Shivana, you know, or Screeching Dragon. I can make either of these six. Oh, they had another one. The strength of the sun and my faith are one. Mind Splitter sets up their ruination a little too good. Like their their ruination's a little too good if I cast Mind Splitter, I think. I'm gonna look for an obliterate card with the Living Legends. Didn't know the boxes Don't know much, do ya? Which I guess. I guess maybe that was a reason to play Shield Bearers, get another card out of my hand. Yeah, I'm gonna have the single combat with the Sunforger. You got legs. Use them. We haven't had any need to use that. Oh, I guess this just heals the Shivana. I want the Shivana to heal. It is kind of an odd timing for the Glimpse Beyond, but I guess maybe that's just like the best they got. Um, we should be coming pretty close. They only have 12 cards left to casting 
you know, a pack your bags. Should be coming pretty close for that. Haven't yet. But I th I think they've only played two go hard so far. I think they still ha Yeah, I think they've only played two so far. I think they still have another one to go. Shining gifts from the sky. There's plenty of killing there. Well, they've only played one so far. So that's number two. So then if their other two cards are both go-hards... Let's just get back up to 18. That'll do. They had some very unfortunate tosses. Tossing two Vengeance and, uh, you know, they tossed a Go Hard and they tossed a Ledros. Okay, we got um, Riven and Yasuo. So we are playing against a Yasuo deck. It's always exciting. Let's see. Like, Hush could be great against, like, a big Riven. Um... Spell Thief could be kind of cool. Them having a bunch of spells and stuff. I'm going to mulligan that, that Spell Thief, though. We'll keep the Hush. Keep our Shivana, of course, and the Strafing Strike. This looks good. Alright. Uh, Alright, so I wanted to save my Spell Mana for after my Shivana. What's a warrior but hands to wield a weapon? The heart and mind okay. to aim its strike. They got a good start. I serve my people. Riven with Riven card. No ravenous flock. I write the rules of power. Clad in shining sunlight. Things a four seven. It's so big. Let's have you fight you and block this is your you. End. That's still me taking nine. So I guess that's how it's going to be. So I just take the six. A dragon's Challenger Zoe. Huh. They are 
nothing. Yes, they tried the, the plus two plus zero so that uh, they'd be able to uh, trade with my Shivana. And I said, no, sir. Death is like the wind, always by my side. Dragon, such fascinating creatures. I'm White flame protector. Mm. So that's an easy block. Don't really want to go to four. I smell fear. I think Siobhan has done her job. Behold, behold, behold. I don't... I'm not going to behold. Unless we... Behold with this Eclipse Dragon or something. With a little time, I'll have a break. Okay. All will kneel before Noxus. Noxus always wants something from the aliens. That's pretty scary. I thought about just not attacking with the Zoe this turn and waiting because of Steel Tempest, but they'd be able to. If I waited, they'd just Steel Tempest my Screeching Dragon. not good. So that's 17 quick attack overwhelm. Remember your training. Speed of three. We need another celestial card. Or that, that'll do. That will also do. All right, so who's the stun deck now? Looks like it's us. Few are in the right to call themselves Trifarian. Okay. Okay, they're not. They're not going away. All right, single combat could be useful. So I can I can single combat. Yeah, I should just single combat. So, because um, I was gonna play play like Shivana here. That's why I passed because I want like the Shivana have you know like the the plus one plus one the challenger all that kind of stuff. Um, but let's turn on the Nightfall because the Nightfall is uh, gonna be important. Help out Supernova. Darn. Captain Farron always messes everything up. That was just a really well set up for them. Like, that was really well set up for them with the 
the double Legion General. Also give both of them quick attack and overwhelm. That was pretty amazing. So yeah, Riven, Riven with those Legion Generals. Um, that seemed legit for sure. Nothing wrong with his hand. <laughs> Want to play Zoe on turn two for the Pell Cascade? I know that doesn't make my Egghead Researcher as good. Hmm. Pell Cascade does not stop that though. So we make a 3-4 with Pale Cascade and block. Nah, I'll just wait. You must have some Keep my mana available. Most are cruel, vicious, and deadly. To serve the greater good. End them. Your fate was written. Unfortunately, Shivana doesn't have um, doesn't have Fury until she levels up. Even though there's a dragon on this side, the one dragon without Fury. Yeah, the one dragon without Fury. bunch of different options that are all pretty decent. I think I'm kind of liking Concerted Strike Kill the Draven. I'm going to pass to them and kind of see what they do. Okay, pass to me. Happy with that? And I'm not too worried about the whole Blade of the Exile thing with me having um, Concerted Strike available. I feel pretty good about this game. I think we're going to be just fine. Even a fragment snuffs out lives. I think we're going to be just fine. I won't look back. Hopefully we don't die to Captain Farron again. This time we got the star shapings. And we also have a Sunforger, so like we We got some more ways to heal our Nexus. Now I take to the sky. Finally, yeah, we'll be fine. I'm something of an aspiring trichologist. Those egghead researchers are basically like you just got to have those to keep you alive, right? Like that's all their job is. So we saved three life with that block. I will take it. I'll save the three life. All right, let's go strafing strike, which will kill my six four. Should kill my 6-4, and so maybe they don't summon? I think they still do summon. 
Shine, they still do summon. I thought they did, but... It's a pretty good one to have, honestly. Like, that 5-2 is pretty nice. Do not test me. The strength of the sun and my faith are one. So of course we're going to create this uh, strafing strike that you know like they block with like their 5-2 and then I strafing strike and have my life steal fight the 5-2 so it doesn't hurt my Shivana and also we get to heal our Nexus for 5 and trade. So we spent 8 mana to get rid of that thing but you know only one real card. Wow, these tribe even probulators. Wow. Yeah, that, that card's awesome. Especially like that with spinning axe, draw a card. And with Riven, they they also like create all the stuff with Riven. Yeah, that's a that's a heck of a hit. And there's those <laughs> silly Captain Farron that just won't go away. Um Again, I think we're still going to be fine, though. I think we got this. I don't really know why the other stuff isn't attacking. Because, like, what do they expect? They expect my 9-6 dragon to block one of those two things and just take, like, the 8 overwhelm? Wouldn't they be happy with that? How many more Captain Farrens do they have? <laughs> I completely forgot that we had Grand Plaza in our deck. It had been so long since we'd seen one or thought about one. Yeah, I forgot that we were a uh, Grand Plaza deck. No, Jay Medarda. Yeah, I mean, look at that Jay Medarda. Putting in work, drawing that Scorched Earth. So I still have the the perfect amount of mana to cast Star Shaping and then Eclipse Dragon next turn. So we can still get the Nightfall on the Eclipse Dragon. Okay, or we could pl play that Shield Bearer first. Um, I think we need some larger dragons. I don't think our dragons are big enough yet. Yeah, definitely not big enough yet. To serve the greater good. We need even bigger dragons. As long as we don't get decimated, we're going to have some really big dragons. Clad in shining sunlight. <laughs> Let's go. 11 11 eclipse dragon <laughs> all my dragons are about to be plus six plus six after i play this cadrogen later I'll 
Oh, come on. It's just all... It's just all Captain Fair. It's all this direct damage. Like... Both those games that we lost were ones that I thought that we'd probably be okay and, and win just fine, but... I don't know, we're, it's like we're getting cheesed out of all these games. Wait, that was the plan? Cause like decimate, decimate, mystic shot doesn't kill me. The party has arrived. <laughs> These improbulators. They did it five, then six, then eight. on these improbulators. It's like their hand was only like three mana cards early and then, but also improbulators to have and then like drawn to like the Captain Farron's to finish it. Like they had a really good hand. I have plus four, plus four from Cadrogen. I don't think I've ever had that before. Um, but yeah, they're not, they're not, <laughs> I, just, I can't get through a house fighter. <laughs> they're not fearsome or, you know, anything. That was a great house fighter draw. Legends. <clears throat> okay, I could really use one of my lifesteal, like another, like a lifesteal unit. Right, like, like the, the Daybreak lifesteal. I guess Radiant Guardian would be too difficult to turn on, but the Daybreak. Mind Splitter. Does, will the... I mean, that'll allow me to open attack and kill them the next turn, but obviously we're not going to get a next turn because they're going to have exact lethal. Um, unless we hit lifesteal. Where's the lifesteal at? There's just no lifesteal anywhere. Yeah, I mean, it's just so much nexus damage. They, they cast six decimates this game. Yeah, I tried I tried to get Living Legends into Golden Sister. I tried. That was my plan, Living Legends into Golden Sister. We tried that, but it didn't work. Um So yeah, we went we went uh, ended up going two and three there. Um I'm I'm pretty confident that we could run it back and, and win all of those games. <laughs> but man, those felt pretty unlucky with the ways that we were losing to those Noxus decks. And uh, Captain Farron is a broken card. That card is pretty ridiculous. And just making three decimates. Because they, they couldn't do any damage to me. Like, and like the little bit of damage they did to me earlier, we would, you know, we healed our Nexus just fine. But they just cast six decimates. Each one does four damage. Like, that's 24 damage. Like, that's hard to, even though, like, we almost, we almost healed. We, we handled the first five, but <laughs> couldn't handle the sixth. Um... And yeah, that's yeah. We we did get stalled here with the dragons. Um, that was a great house spider draw. 
for them. That was that was perfect. Um, but he, it, even if it was just any other unit, they would have just been able to play that unit and just have that unit and the Draven block, and they would have been just fine. So like they would have won if it was just any unit. It didn't need to be a house spider. Um, maybe our deck needs Zenith Blades to get Overwhelm. It's a card I've definitely underrated in the past, but whenever I have played these dragon decks with Zenith Blades, I usually have a better record. Uh, that uh, that ability to have the you know get the overwhelm is honestly pretty good. So I could see doing that. Um, we also you know like we had what Grand Plaza I think our first game maybe the second game, but yeah that was that was a card we, we basically never had. Uh, let's see. Star shaping was really good though. I wouldn't mind a third star shaping. But anyway, with playing those games, we did we didn't know so like star shaping is, is pretty awesome. But the celestial cards that cost seven or more, you do need to have another celestial, a lot of them to play. And we did notice how like that was kind of difficult. I think I would I think I would just wouldn't play this radiant guardian um, with how we have the sun forgers for the life steal, and maybe just go with the third star shaping to heal the nexus because. Um, for how those games played out, I could, I could imagine it being somewhat difficult to have the Radiant Guardian turned on. We, we never drew it, um, but I, I could just see how that could be difficult for it to be turned on. And then maybe another Star Shaping would help, you know, with the whole Behold Clause um, and everything. I think having another Star Shaping would be good. I think we just kind of got got some bad luck. Um, I, I don't think the Guiding Touch is very good. I would not play Guiding Touch. I definitely play all the star shapings first. Yeah, I think I think we could have just done a better job drawing Grand Plaza. I think in a lot of games we would have been able to finish that out. Anyway, so there we go. That's Zoe Shivana. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there, and of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. I would appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.